Universal Studios is opening a big theme park in Orlando. Epic Universe might be the most technologically advanced theme park in the entire world, but that hasn't stopped Universal Studios from already being forced to change Starfall Racers. Let's talk about the lawsuit that might be coming here on That Park Place. Hello, I am Jodis J. Campbell, an investigative reporter for That Park Place, and here with me is uh, Super Nintendo Worlder, Mr. Vash Sky. Vash, it's a you. Uh, yes, it's a me and Yahoo! I'm so excited for uh, everything that uh, Epic Universe has on offer right here. We just got some some more leak stuff. Oh, it looks so tremendous, Jonas. Uh, this is going to be a real game changer for Florida, but the entire theme park world in 2025 when it makes its debut. Uh, that's true. I think I think the Epic Universe, by the way, the things that I'm hearing out of not just Epic Universe, but the people that normally would be going to Disney that are intentionally saying, you know what, we're going to wait a minute. I think we're going to check out check out Epic Universe this year instead of going to Disney. That's coming up a lot here. Now, the thing that we want to talk about is that central land there, that hub universe. Sorry that. Yeah, they, I guess it is a, a universe because they have dark universe. They have the world of Harry Potter. They have Isle of Burke. They have uh, Super Nintendo World. Did I already mention that? And uh, then they also have Celestial Park. I actually said the right name this time. It's Celestial Park. In Celestial Park, they have several different rides. But the one that really, really looks pretty cool is uh, one called Starfall Racers. It is, uh, Vash, actually, why don't you tell our, our, our audience about that one? Yes, Starfall Racers. So it is, I believe, a new coaster by mac rides i want to say sorry I, I know coaster enthusiasts don't get on me don't hurt me but uh it is supposed to be a lot of fun so it's kind of a dueling roller coaster we've we've seen universal do that before and now that idea is coming back which is very very cool uh, but it's going to be located in kind of the middle off to the right i believe and celestial park will be uh available as part of uh, as as part of that area's set of attractions and what is really cool about it is, uh, first off, you know the the, the G forces that you're going to experience on this thing is is very very cool. You're going to be doing it with lap bars that don't go over the shoulder, which is always very very fun. Onboard audio, which you'll note that something like Velocicoaster doesn't currently have, and it's supposed to be epic at night. So they're going to be using LEDs with uh, alongside the uh, uh, the trains themselves to make it look like comets going through the the, the, the cosmic space uh, while uh, you enjoy what this looks like at night. It's supposed to be very, very cool, very ambitious, and a big, uh, I would say, e-ticket for this entire park. Oh, yeah, it looks amazing. I can't believe that Vash decided to bring Velocicoaster into this conversation myself. I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh, but that being said, Starfall Racers looks like it is the e-ticket attraction of Celestial Park, which I still am not calling Centennial in this video so far, so that's good. But uh, th there's something interesting going on here with this. Alicia Stella uh, from Theme Park Stop, by the way, a fantastic channel that Alicia has over there covering all of these uh, Universal Studios developments. Congratulations to her on all of the amazing scoops that her and her team have been able to dig up. Uh, but here is, uh, is an interesting tweet from her. Universal has filed a trademark application for the term Stardust Racers for use as an amusement park ride in the nature of a roller coaster ride. Could Starfall Racers at Epic Universe be renamed, or could a variation of this racing coaster make its way to another resort? And here we have uh, an, a, a trademark application here. Um, and, and, and we'll leave some of the uh, identifying information out of it. But uh, why would a theme park need uh, a second uh, trademark on a roller coaster that they already have? This was definitely a question when I originally saw this story. I was like, wait a minute. I thought it was kind of set in stone that what this was actually going to be called. Why are we trademarking a second uh, a second name for this? The only reason you would actually do that is if you weren't confident that you were going to be able to maintain the name that you currently have for said coaster. Now, one of the theories that uh, I had heard originally was that they were thinking about doing a smaller coaster, like a kitty version of Starfall Racers, that uh, maybe in, in the same vein of having Hagrid's uh, Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure Tour at Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and the name goes on forever, but the the right next to it is the, uh, what is it, the Flight of the Hippogriff? That is, it, it's obviously not the same ride, but it's at least a roller coaster that little kids can ride on. 
um, right next to it. So I think there was some speculation about whether or not one of the pads there next to Starfall Racers might end up being Starfall Racers. But um, it, there's another tweet that has uh, come out that uh, exposes a little bit more here. This one from Wallen Ballen, fascinating uh, name there. The Starfall Racers name for Epic Universe's dueling coaster is in danger. Starfall Education has challenged the trademark with the federal government. Their trademark is Starfall, used since 2009. This is likely why Universal filed that trademark for Stardust Racers. And right here, this is a trademark trial and appeal board inquiry system. And uh, it looks like uh, they've, they've named a defendant and the defendant is Universal Studios and the potential opposer is Starfall Education Foundation and uh, their lawyers here in Los Angeles. So uh, this to me looks like Universal would be going to court to defend the right to use Starfall racers here. Now, Bash, do you think that there's much possibility that Starfall racers would be confused with Starfall Education? I don't think it would be, and I, and I would, I would, I would question whether or not either of these companies can uh, trademark these in some way, or, or in that, if they are trademarking them, but they would necessarily conflict with the other. I, I'm, I'm not highly educated in this in this area of law right here, but it, it just seems a little, a little weird how Star, the Starfall Education Institution wants to defend this name so bad. It's also kind of funny to me. Just being kind of a a Disney nut, I guess, uh, that Stardust was chosen because people will note that Stardust was the code name for the Death Star project in Rogue One, and also Project Stardust being the the uh, uh, Disneyland series of renovations uh, that that park specifically incurred in the lead up to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opening in 2018. That's uh, that that's fascinating. It's also, by the way, I think there's a movie called Stardust uh, as well, but that's that's not oh. a Disney movie as I understand it here. So Starfall, I think, is a better name here. I, I think this is something that should only come up if there's going to be some kind of confusion between the brands. Like uh, some some lawsuits come to mind, like Apple Music, uh, which is the which it was the name of the Beatles production label suing Apple Computer uh, back in that day. And they they ended up settling their lawsuit, but Apple Computer ended up agreeing to never go into the music business. And of course, at the time, that was kind of a hilarious little note on a lawsuit. Of course, now there is actually a service called Apple Music because the nature of computing has changed in such a big way. Or um, ISOM, the trademark of uh, our good friend, Eric July, who has appeared on uh, the WDW Pro channel and uh, he got sued by the International School of Ministry uh, originally. Now, they eventually ended up uh, settling that because Isom, the main character, the flagship character of the Ripaverse, has nothing to do with the International School of Ministry, who is probably not going to get into the comic book business. So uh, Starfall Racers, probably not going to be used in education. And Starfall Education, probably not going to get into the roller coaster business. But it sounds like, and, and this is where we have uh, some, some privileged information here. This is, we're, we're getting into rumor and speculation territories, everyone. So please take this with a grain of salt. This is also representing things that have not yet come to pass, to use uh, Galadriel's language there from... Uh, I'm going to say the Fellowship of the Ring. So uh, there are many paths that are still open here, but we're going to tell you what we have heard. Actually, Vash is going to tell you what we have heard about uh, Starfall Racers and Stardust Racers. What have we heard? <laughs> One of those two things. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I don't know where you're going. <laughs> no, that's okay. Okay. No, that's Sorry. okay. Uh, I'm going to tell you what we've heard. Essentially, we're hearing from a source, a source that we trust. This is not this is this is one that uh, we we don't have as easily vetted as some of our other sources. But uh, I, I have no reason to uh, believe that they're uh, pointing us in the wrong direction here. We're hearing that it's already decided that that Universal has started work already on removing all Starfall racer uh, nomenclature here, and has started working on on putting up Stardust in its place. 
the question about whether or not the website will reflect it is uh, is still ongoing, or whether or not the next time we see one of these amazing Universal Studios drops that we always like to cover on that Park Place Live, uh, if at that point they'll talk about Star Dust Racers instead of Star Fall Racers, it'll be an interesting thing to see uh, if that occurs. Now, uh, Vash, uh, what do you think about this? I think it's very, very interesting uh, for sure. This has happened before where you have late in the game state uh, changes to attractions and their names. I think in the roller coaster context, I can remember. I can't remember the originally that Space Mountain in Paris was supposed to be called, but it was was not supposed to be called Space Mountain. I think it was supposed to be called Discovery Mountain. And so you had DM located through various points of the queue and so forth, and I think even on the headrests for the uh, vehicles themselves, and then it was supposed, and then it was changed to Space Mountain in order to be consistent with the branding and so forth. But that DM lived on. So this, I, I find it kind of hilarious that at late stage in the game, because of some oversight or obviously Starfall the education uh, facility coming out with a lawsuit right here, they're forced to change this up. It's not necessarily unheard of but uh, i guess history rhymes i guess it's a fascinating thing of course in the theme park business the most important thing is probably to get as close to your theme as possible and then just have an amazing ride and it does sound like it's going to be an amazing ride i'm looking forward to it uh and and i'm hearing by the way i'm hearing that they're they, they've gotten the rights to put the flux capacitor from back to the future on the back end of all of the ride seats or maybe it's just the ride vehicles here but uh currently they're covered up so even bio reconstruct who's doing all these amazing aerial photos of the park he hasn't seen it either uh by the way some of our sources have taken a few pictures of bio reconstruct uh, in return, which is hilarious to me to think of Bio Reconstruct up in a helicopter taking pictures of the uh, Epic Universe team and the Epic Universe team uh, looking up and taking pictures right back at him. That's uh, hilarious to me. A few moments later. Well, we usually don't like to stop videos in the middle to provide an update, but it looks like uh, we were right. We were going to say we've got a scoop that says they're going ahead with Stardust Racers, uh, but we're not going to get any credit for that one, and uh, no one should give us credit for it. But guess what? If you look over here on the Universal Studios website, uh, right down here, it looks like Starfall is no more, and Stardust Racers is a roller coaster race across the cosmos. It looks like what's done is done, and Starfall.com has won this battle for now. Whether or not they legally won it, it looks like uh, Universal St Studios and Epic Universe are backing away now. Vash, why do you think they're doing it? Uh, I, I don't think they want the hassle. We're coming up close to, to, to when this thing should be opening. So it's like, okay, well, if you go to litigation and if you... If you if you go through that process, first of all, it's going to be very expensive. Second of all, can you get the rights that you need in order to sell merchandise and other things? That's a whole other process right there. And of course, like I said before, we're, we're coming to opening here. I mean, we've got like a year out. Who knows how long trial would last and all that. I think it's just becoming a little bit uh, more complicated than it's necessarily worth. And. They threw in the towel, which I don't think is necessarily the worst idea. Oh, yeah. I mean, Stardust, obviously, there's <laughs> there's a lot of things that reference Stardust here. And I don't want to repeat what we've already recorded for this video. Uh, we were recording that for intention to uh, release it a couple of days ago. And this update happened uh, before we were able to release it. But I think Stardust is a perfectly fine name. I liked Starfall more, but Stardust is starting starting to grow on me here. But that being said, it looks like it's going to be a great ride. That's really the important thing when it comes down to it, as the same as the Tiana's Bayou Adventure situation. Um, if it's a great ride, then it forgives a lot of issues. Very few times have we said, no, I don't like that IP. Therefore, I'm not going to like the ride. If the ride is great, no one cares. So here we are, Stardust Racers. So we want to throw this to our comment section and ask you guys, are you, are, are you at all worried about this change from fall to dust. Oh, wow, that sounds a little dark there. Uh, but uh, let us know your thoughts on the comment section down below. Or would you like to see Universal Studios go ahead and fight it out for the trademark and then go change all those signs? I don't think they're going to do it. I think what's done is done. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Of course, like this video if you like this video. And consider subscribing to That Park Place for all of the news that should be fun. Thanks for watching That Park Place News. For more information, consider checking out www.thatparkplace.com. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and send this out on your favorite social media accounts.